We had so much fun at Armageddon Expo in Wellington, so let's check out some highlights. Villa Veracino, living the Star Wars life. Hello there, and welcome back to the Villa Veracino YouTube channel. This past weekend, we traveled down to Wellington, New Zealand for the Armageddon Expo convention that took place on April 22nd and 23rd. It was held at the Sky Stadium. We've been to this venue a couple of times. It's not the best venue for Armageddon's, but we had a great time nonetheless. Our first stop of the weekend was Cameron Percy Antiques. They always have a fabulous array of Star Wars collectibles and we're never sure what kind of treasures we might find. They have all kinds of stuff from vintage through to modern. We always just kind of feel like we got to get here quickly and start going through all the shelves and displays, trying to find which bits and pieces are going to grab our attention. We've picked up some fabulous pieces from them at previous conventions, uh, and this convention was uh, the same. We picked up a couple of pieces here uh, from their booth. It was always fun. There's so much stuff here that we would probably buy more from if we weren't flying down down and had to worry about fitting things safely into our luggage for flying back home but nevertheless it's always great to go through all the loose figures you know micro machines carded figures black series there are some really cool pieces Funko Pops of course We've always got to, you know, check them out. It's really great having a vendor with such a wide variety of Star Wars product. There's always Star Wars stuff to buy at Armageddon's, of course, with Star Wars fans and collectors, but it's really great having so much stuff there and a wide variety. This booth is always crowded full of people going through the fabulous array of Star Wars stuff, and there's always a ton of people walking away with very full shopping bags. We picked up a Black Series figure for our collection, and as a fun little trinket, I also bought a Star Wars luggage tag. Uh, a previous trip, my Star Wars luggage tag had been ripped off and sadly lost, so I was very happy to be able to replace that with a fun little random find from this booth. As always, it's fun checking them out. Next up, Funko Pop Vinyls, of course. So there were several booths stocking Funkos here at Armageddon. The first place we stopped and checked was Pop Stop. We enjoy their online store and their booths at malls, so it was great to see their large booth here at Armageddon. They had a fabulous array of Star Wars and Disney Funkos for us to check out. Those are our two main focuses there. We've got a few others that we like to enjoy collecting, but we did actually grab two Funkos from the Pop Stop booth. We got a Chewbacca with Porg and a Darth Vader being sort of electrified from Return of the Jedi, filling in some older gaps from our collection. We also had a look at Card Merchant, and there was another booth that was new, we hadn't seen them before, that was called Funko Pops Galore. And they had some really interesting ones, uh, including ones that had been assigned. And so that, that was kind of fun. We don't see that often in New Zealand. Uh, that tends to be a bit more of an international thing. There were a couple here that really caught my eye, but Funkos can be a little bit hard to get through, um, especially if we have a lot to try and fit in our luggage. So we already picked up two, and that's where we kind of called it a draw. Uh, we next up, we checked up Goblin Dice Games. They have a fabulous array of dice for D&D. Uh, just a fabulous, colorful array of dice and really well displayed. Some places uh, they have just the standard sets that you see a lot. Uh, Goblin really does have a fabulous array going from the sort of generic, very cheap sets that you see everywhere, all the way up to some really cool gemstone dice sets and some metal ones, some really fancy ones. A fabulous booth to check out. Everything's nice and clear. You can see the full range. I love the wall of dice. Card Merchant also had a fabulous set of the D&D books and a lot of really sparkly dice by Metallic Dice Games. Next up, we checked up Turtle Creations. They do a cool array of 3D printed dragons and sort of creatures and stuff like that. We've seen them a couple of times and it's one of those ones where I knew it was inevitable that I was going to get one, but I wasn't sure uh, when or where or which one I might choose. And I have to say, this trip was the one where I finally picked one up. 
Next up, we checked up Poster Works. They're there at every Armageddon. Always a great booth to check out. They stock, as the name would imply, posters and a lot of other licensed collectibles like mugs and keychains and things like that. They have a really cool array of pop culture posters for your doors, for your bedroom walls. They also do a great range of doormats. Now, we always mean to pick up a bunch of doormats. They do great bundle deals if you buy more than one, but they're quite heavy. You know, those sort of sturdy doormats. Uh, we keep meaning to do this at a convention in our home city. So Auckland, I'm again, we'll probably buy some. Our, pre our current Star Wars doormat definitely needs replacing. So we'll definitely be checking out their booth at the Auckland Armageddon. A few other random finds that we spotted around the convention, Grogu pencil cases, light up Star Wars displays, and some assorted Star Wars jewelry and pins. Kyber Forge had a great array of Star Wars pins. I did pick up a couple myself here. The Kyber crystals were really popular and always there's always a huge group of people at this booth checking out their great range of lightsabers. They have affordable ones all the way up to the very expensive ones with all the bells and whistles. They're always a great booth to check out if you're in the market for a lightsaber. And of course, we had to stop by the Sweet Rock Candy Artists booth. This is becoming an Armageddon tradition for us. They do some cool Star Wars themed lollipops and things like that. We always enjoy stopping by their booth to get our sweet fix at every Armageddon. Uh, I particularly like those Mando and Grogu lollipops. As always, there's always going to be a booth with a wall of t-shirts with some fabulous pop culture designs. This one had some cool Star Wars designs. They're always fun. They're always a popular booth. I also found a range of cute Star Wars pins at a booth. There was Darth Vader, BB-8, Yoda. It's always fun finding more Star Wars pins. Of course, I was so excited to see Oasis Scents here again. She does a fabulous array of fandom-inspired candles and other things. Some of my favorites from her range include the Ahsoka and Carbonite candles. Always so happy to see Star Wars inspired things. There was this really cute range of sort of uh, fantasy creature plushies. There were some really cute designs. Honestly, I would love to be able to take one of those home. Bespoke Boutique always has a great range of fandom inspired placemats and mugs and coasters. There's so much there for everyone. I particularly like their Star Wars and Dungeons and Dragons inspired designs. They do some really cool D&D &D dice trays that I keep meaning to pick up sometime. I just need to decide which of their fabulous designs I like best. I picked up some Star Wars earrings from them a couple of Armageddon's ago. There was also a fabulous crochet booth with lots of cute sort of crocheted plushies from different fandoms. Of course, I love the Star Wars ones. That layer is really cute. There were some really great Artist Alley booths. We did find some small bits and pieces, including an IG-11 print. And of course, one of our big highlights from Armageddon is the cosplay. We enjoyed stopping by the 501st and Rebel Legion booth. It's always fun to meet up with friends. And there's always a great array of Star Wars costumes and droids on display. So that was really fun. Because we fly down for just a short weekend stay at these conventions, we weren't able to bring costumes with us. We really do need to plan out some fun more easily transportable Star Wars costumes so we can join in the fun at these shorter conventions. Last but not least, we enjoyed the cosplay parades that were held on both the Saturday and Sunday of this convention. There's always a fabulous array of costumes. Whether you've bought one online or made it yourself, this, these cosplay parades are a great way for cosplayers to showcase their outfits to the crowd. It's always a packed house. You've got to get there early to get a seat. And there is a fabulous array of costumes on display. Of course, we love the Star Wars one but there was a great number from different fandoms of course from movies comics 
anime. Uh, there were some great Harlequin ones in there, ones from DC Comics. There's always a Spider-Man group. Spider-Man is always a popular costume there. I particularly enjoyed the Anakin and Padme Amidala. I always enjoy seeing Padme costumes here in New Zealand. But this was a really fun way for customers to show off their work and th their outfits to the crowd. It's always so popular and I really do enjoy it. The cosplay parades are generally held at the end of the day. So it's always kind of like a fun, nice way to wind down. When you've spent all day on your feet wandering the convention, it's nice to just sit down for a bit and enjoy a show on the main stage. Though I do wonder how those people with the really big cumbersome costumes manage. Surely they haven't been all day in those costumes. Worn a few armor outfits myself. I can't imagine wearing them all day. I do hope they took some breaks. The second costume parade on the Sunday saw the same great array of costumes including some original designs, ones from Marvel. We had some more Spider-Man, more Harlequin. There were so many costumes. We really do enjoy the costuming element of Armageddon's, as is true of every convention. It's always a fun addition, and we really do need to plan out our costumes better so that we can join in the fun in upcoming Armageddon conventions. A lot of our costumes in the past have involved big armor tubs, and it can be a bit cumbersome. Our hotel where we were staying was a little bit of a walk away. We've got to plan out uh, some really cool costumes for when Armageddon is in Auckland so that we can join in the fun. But we do always enjoy following the costume parades and the competitions at Armageddon. As a big Harlequin fan, I love seeing Harlequin costumers at Armageddon. Makes me want to dig up and dust off my old red and black bodysuit that I made all the way back in 2007. It probably needs a few repairs, but I really do want to costume as Harlequin again. I love seeing Harlequin costumers at Armageddon. If you enjoy the costuming here at Armageddon, be sure to check out our other videos where we have the full cosplay parades from Wellington Armageddon in a separate video. We'll have those linked down below. I rather wish the concept of cosplay parades was around back when I was in my sort of cosplay prime back around 2007, 2008, because there were so many costumes that I probably would have loved to have entered in the parade to show off that I didn't want to enter into the competition. Either I was too shy or I didn't think that they were that fancy or complicated. I really do like the modern idea of parades where you can just show off whatever it is that you've got, whether you've bought it or made it. I think it's really fun. And of course, we always stop by and visit a smog when we head back to Wellington Airport. It's really fun seeing these Lord of the Rings touches at the Wellington Airport and I do really enjoy seeing the smog dragon and of course the fantastic Gandalf with eagles display in the main area. It always feels like a nice fun way to round out our trip to a Wellington. So thank you Wellington Armageddon for another fantastic weekend and we look forward to seeing you again next time. May the force be with you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, check out our other videos, and subscribe for alerts about new uploads. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you.